the consumers, the users, the data shares, which is pretty much all of us, tend to be uh, ambivalent or even um, passive towards how this data is used or abused or shared. Then we started from our shared interest in the technologies of the self, so how technology builds uh, the construction of oneself. And, and in the context of dating apps, this is uh, to taken to the extreme in a way because you're playing with that particular uh, practice in front of somebody you don't know. It's a central uh, sort of focus on our research which uh, predominantly uh, revolved around issues of trust and intimacy and how do new technologies, what do new, new technologies uh, like blockchain offer uh, for this pace of authentication. We are looking at trust from a business perspective, from a corporate fintech perspective. How Alessandro's research personifies it's through, uh, through a LARP, stage LARP, live action role play, um, um, involving gamers who are interacting via digital wallets and uh, the game mechanics, uh, their tasks are intertwined to explore some of the notions that are crucial to this project. The game master with whom I will develop the game mechanics is Omsk Social Club from Berlin. We were given research that had been pulled from various different people using dating apps and we decided that we wanted to rewrite the social and emotional coding of dating apps to a world where actually there wasn't a scarcity of intimacy. In fact, there was an oversaturation of intimacy. In order to do that, of course, we had to make it in a fictive world, but hopefully by learning all these different strains and shades of intimacy, um, we will be able to see at one point that we potentially do live in a world where there is more intimacy than we see. Yeah. <laughs> the very famous quote from Sherry Turkle that we sort of end up in being alone together, I don't really believe that, uh, but it's not productive to have a conversation about going back to some pre-digitized way of building intimacy because of the sort of blending of the two spheres nowadays, which is impossible to untangle. <laughs>